transformation. So the main thing about this ba about this balancing patch is that they nerfed buffs overall, and once if you try to min-max buffs, you'll get um, diminishing returns, which means it gets pointless to stack uh, damage buffs after 300% approximately. This will make nuking harder as you can't just stack a trillion buffs anymore. Um, they made health scaling be add additive now, which means you can't stack a, a ton of HP that way. So like, instead of having like two 50% damage buffs being a 2.2, I mean health buffs being a 2.25 times increase, it'll just be a two times increase, which does not seem like a lot. But once you stack more buffs, it'll hurt nuking or like survival a lot. Um, summons now absorb partial damage rather than full damage, which is that when necromancers guard their summons, they can't just become immortal for a few turns using that summon, which kind of sucks, but it's oh well. And then no one cares about these two changes. Berserker got nerfed from these Carnage nerf, um, gut, being gutted completely, but I guess in return they buffed up Head Splitter, which not needed a buff in the first place in my opinion. They made Intense Rage, um, basically nerfed it when in reality they fixed how it's supposed to work in the first place. That's one of the reasons Berserker could rack up a lot of damage. Um, and then they, they nerfed the Bloodlust health activation and, and the cap. That I interpret it as like meaning it's easier to get to activate it, but you'll get less damage from it. And then they also reduced the additional damage from it after being hit the first time and the mastery. So that passive is now a lot weaker than it's supposed to a lot weaker now. So Berserker got gutted pretty badly from that I'd say. And then they went ahead and un undid the Blade Dancer nerf that they did to Blade Dancer originally. So it's now back to being mid-ish I guess. It's back to being the Elementalist of Swords but it's not too powerful. And then they completely gutted Flowing Dance. So how I think about this change is that they basically undid everything Nuovo did the last time. Then Simple Domain, they nerfed its damage. It didn't need a nerf in its damage, it was quite okay. But they made the aggro more if you don't have the mastery, so that was actually a pretty big W. And then next, for Ranger, they buffed Enrichment. It's not a big of a deal, only 5% more damage. Holy Crash, you can now make it useful for Endurance builds, so it'll do a little bit of damage. It's only a small scaling, but it's a pretty good first step. And then Saints Master got completely gutted. It you, they removed the outgoing healing from it, which was the main part people were using it for, which kind of sucks, but oh well. And then they nerfed Holy Grace healing and Holy Grace proficiency, so it'll be a lot harder to heal your teammates for MV, which kind of sucks again. And then they made Rallying Shout increase HP regen. I didn't even know this was a thing before, but this 3% is still useless. They made Discharge stun have a higher chance to, to stun. That's still pretty bad, because you're not stunning guaranteed. Discharge is it got chain got an inconsequential change. Empowered Pierce is easier to use. Empowered Pierce damage has been lowered. Poise Slayer lets you nuke easier because it now has two turns of speed buff. They did some useless Lancer changes here. They made Cell Charge work on Meditate. You can stack it easier. Um, Bloody Berserker no longer has diminishing returns, so that's why it couldn't hit 300% damage before. But they dropped the the max buff. Moving on, they they buff Fire Sutra Mastery so he could proc burn more often. They made a Flame Drop proficiency useful now so you can deal extra damage with it, assuming the enemy has burn stacks. Party Table has been nerfed, Crushing Strike was nerfed, Oppression was also nerfed, which means Brawler is probably bad now, I'm guessing. Um, Call Dark Beast cooldown reduced, Void Bite damage reduced, Pounce damage reduced, Shade Roar cooldown increase, Dark Core Eruption scaling buff, Dark Core Eruption gives 2 hex, so um, Dark Rave should be a pretty good support now, but summon did seem to have got, taken a hit. Um, Void Bite cooldown reduce, rever um, reduce so the, the dog seems more to be like a survival tool rather than a summon damage tool. Curse Fist now buffs your summon, so that's, that's gonna undo those nerfs if you keep using Curse Fists. Dark Generation HP for that mastery is now 75% which means you can generate 2 orbs more easily now if you have the mastery. And then here they fixed Poison Fan being extremely busted so no more 8 Sundered from Assassin. Um, they buffed its Stealth Strike and the damage the damage while invis. These do not really matter because Stealth Strike did no damage to begin with, let's be honest guys. Blaze damage lowered, the proficiency with Blaze was lowered, they basically nerfed Elementalist. It was fine, I don't know why they nerfed it. 
then they nerfed the scaling, they nerfed lightning crash proficiency. That's really bad because if elementalist is the, the standard for balanced classes, the entire standard just dropped. And then they made, they buffed necromancer by making it revive more often. This was not the buff people are really asking for, they are wanting, wanting more of a rework instead, but whatever. Death's Edge is made slightly more useful, we all know it's useless still. Final Goodbye, it's made, it buffs incoming healing now, and um, and they buff up the numbers a little bit. Ah, still useless. Inverse Abyss CD was massively reduced, which is pretty good for support. And now in, Ab Abyss Proficiency now applies 3 random debuffs instead of 2, so it's like um, Chaos Orb now, Proficiency, eh, it's still mid. Dark Glare now turn applies 2 turns of Hex. That's a good, that's a good change, that's a good buff. And then they nerfed Poison Fan by fixing a bug again. They, they, okay, those are just Assassin changes. Um, inverse Flaw heals 5% instead of 3% now. So Hexer got a pretty good buff, I guess. It, even though it's, I think it's still trash. Enrichment buff duration increased from 3 turns to 4 turns. Eh, he didn't really need 4 turns to begin with, I'll be honest. You only have like 3 or two, like 2 speed skills anyway to nuke with on Ranger. And then they fixed the flourish damage resistance, making you take more damage instead of reducing damage. I mean, hey, it doesn't harm it. They reworked its masteries, I'll be seeing what those are in game later. And then leaving the game, they fixed that bug where you can just essentially never lose your inventory. Abyss Anchor replaced, ooh hoo, finally a rework. The self HP buff, because that summon was way weaker than Skeleton. Abyss Anchor proficiency now applies vulnerable and passive energies gain. Disabled for 5 turns. I'm not sure what that entails. That's pretty broad. I'll go check it out in game later. Um, you're not protected from Abyss, Abyss Anchor. No gaining energy for 2 turns after it ends on you. I'm still not sure what this entails. I'll have to go in game and see what this means. Abyss Anchor. No energy gain. Nerf to 3 turns. I have no idea what this means either. Abyss Anchor CD reduced from 8 to 11. I think it got reworked. I don't understand what it does yet. I'll be checking it out later. And then they nerfed Estella because it was too good with Berserker. We all know that. Berserker now does 50% less of Estella's hyper rage and primal rage. They nerfed the, the specific combo. That kind of sucks ass. Well, Scramble was replaced with Opulence Cutter. That was showed off. It's a pretty cool move, I guess. Corvolo's fast learner changed to ride 1.15 Essence buff. No. No. Okay, well. Essence buff, it's okay, but I preferred fast learner. And the enemies, they buffed Shade Blades and and V, and while, but they made the death, the cancerous death down new dodgeable, easier to dodge. Overall, that's buffing the raid a lot. Then they nerfed ice shards. They nerfed weakened. And, I mean, they didn't. They made its debuffs more useful, but we all know it does no damage to begin with, so it's more of a supportive move. Torching soul is now buffed, so that's slightly more useful. Its resist is buffed from five to ten percent. We all know no one's really going to use this outside of Yardfall anyway. Blizzard doesn't debuff your own team's defense, makes it more usable now. Nice. Next, here we go. The ultimate speed nerfs. Godspeed speed stat reduced by 75%. There goes all the funny um, speed build nuking. But they did reduce the cooldown on Godspeed. It's still way too long for a nuking skill. It needs to be like 5 turns to be more practical, if I'm going to be honest. Permif buff was reduced by half, which means you can't... Um, your permaf nukes will be a lot weaker. And Venya T3 basically got nerfed. That was like the main reason you want Venya in the first place, and now it's kind of useless. And then they gutted Metrum's Grass by reducing its defense by half. They fixed... And then bugs they fixed is Poison Fan being overpowered. They fixed Dark Lair, I guess. That was really late. Berserker is now no longer softlocks MV. Wow, crazy. And then they made the armor not give um, outgoing healing, so my saint video is outdated now. Wow, crazy. They fixed dot multipliers being busted, I noticed it. And then they fixed dragon shield proccing stuff in instead of only on block. Oh, always proccing thorn instead of only on block. I noticed that, so like if you got hit like a 500 damage move while you had dragon flame shield, you would, do, like, you would deal like 200 damage back. It was pretty good. And then they fixed players having guaranteed immunity when they weren't when they didn't have any curse curse like um bypass thing. So like if you were wearing a blight ring, you wouldn't you would get affected by curse, but if you weren't wearing a blight ring, you would just you would just heal through curse if you if you got healed by a saint that didn't have any curse bypass. And then they fixed um the Stoltis skill, auto dodging, ultimates, and the ultimate, stuff like that. And and being able to dodge your own um damage damage inflicted by yourself. 
And they also fixed the Arcadium Shard Wipe. I hope. That's like the third time they tried it and it failed. And that's it. The great nerfing. Um, overall, Berserker gutted. Um, Impaler fixed. Probably stronger now. Blade Dancer gutted. Elementalist bit nerfed. Um, Berserker nerfed. Um, Brawler gutted. Dark Wraith. Actually, overall, pretty good buff. I would recommend using it now. Um, Paladin barely changed. It's it's better now, I guess, but still. Necromancer, definitely worse. Um, Hexer, much, much better. It's probably no longer the worst class in the game right now, if I had to assume. But we'll see. And Ranger barely got changed. So, yeah, that's about it for me.